In this video, we will focus on dot and cross drawing of sodium oxide. Let's refer to the periodic table. We can determine the number of electrons each atom has from the periodic table. Now this is the key. In this periodic table, the number at the top tells us the number of protons this atom has. Now we know that in an atom, the number of protons and electrons are the same. Hence, we can actually determine how many electrons the particular atom has by referring to this number. Now, the number at the bottom tells us the number of protons and neutrons each atom has. Let's focus on sodium now. It is here in the periodic table. Now, sodium has 11 electrons. We will use dot to represent the electrons of sodium. Now, the first shell holds two electrons. The second shell holds eight electrons. Then the last electron is in the third shell. Sodium would love to donate this electron to a non-metal so that it can achieve an octet configuration. Now the non-metal in this compound is oxygen. It is here in the periodic table. Oxygen has eight electrons. Let's use cross to represent the electrons of oxygen. The first shell holds two, second shell holds six. Now oxygen has only six electrons in the outermost shell. It needs two more electrons to achieve the octet configuration. Now oxygen needs two electrons, but sodium can only give away one electron. Hence, we will need one more sodium to help oxygen fulfill the octet configuration. So we have two sodium, each donates one electron to oxygen. Sodium ions and oxide ion are formed. Now let's work out the charges of the ions. Sodium atom has 11 protons, which gives it a charge of positive 11, while 11 electrons, which gives it a charge of negative 11. Hence, the overall charge of this atom is 0. Now when sodium gives away this electron to the nonmetal, the number of protons remain unchanged. Hence, the positive charge is still positive 11. However, there are only 10 electrons left. Hence, the negative charge is negative 10. Overall charge in this ion is positive 1. We will need to represent this charge in the dot and cross diagram. Put the bracket and the charge. For oxygen, the atom has 8 protons, which gives it a charge of positive 8 while 8 electrons, which gives it a charge of negative 8. The overall charge of this atom is 0. Now when oxygen takes in electrons from sodium, the number of protons remain unchanged. Hence, the positive charge is still positive 8. However, there are 10 electrons now. Hence, the negative charge is negative 10. Overall charge in oxide ion is negative 2. Now put the bracket and the charge in the dot and cross diagram. You realize there are two sodium ions present in this ionic compound. Instead of drawing two sodium ions, we can draw only one of them and put a two in front of the sodium ions. Sometimes in examinations, they will ask you to draw only the outermost electrons. Hence, we can omit the inner shells and this is what you should draw. In a nut shell, a metal loses its outermost electrons to form positive ion, while a non-metal gains the electrons to form negative ion. The oppositely charged ions are held together by strong electrostatic forces of attraction, which we call the ionic bond. We will be going through drawing of dot and cross diagram of other ionic compounds in this channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more chemistry learning videos. Like this video and share with your friends if you find useful. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.